know nothing beats the sweet sights and smells of South Kakalaki when I'm out here in Oklahoma. All right, to my new viewers, this is my small suburbia backyard here in Oklahoma. A neighbor gave me a whole bunch of banana trees and kind of doing the tropical thing here. What I'm going to show you today is my 12 volt garden pond solar generator system. There's my two 100 watt Renergy solar panels up there. And I'm going to show you the solar power generator system that I have running two of my garden pond pumps. Well, one's a pump and one's an aerator system. This has a Trojan Deep Cycle AGM 100 amp hour battery in there. And right now I'm pulling in about 92 watts. Not bad, not bad at all. Got a little blower fan there. Switch for the solar panels. And I rigged up this blower fan, exhaust fan for the battery compartment. That thing's doing really, really well. A little dusty, but man, it's working great all season. But the problem I am having is not the solar generator and solar panels. There's the buried wire run to this bilge pump that I've been using to pump water out of the small little pond and up over the rocks there. Love the sound. But I have not had very good luck with these bilge pumps. You know, I'd get one that would last, you know, four, well, it lasts four or five months. This one lasted maybe about four or five weeks. And I keep the screen on there, and I just love the sound of it rolling over the rocks there. But, uh, man, it gets pretty pricey having to replace these things. And if you got an idea for filter screening or maybe something different. But, uh, man, I tell you, I don't like replacing those things. I also buried a landscaping wire run to this little garden oasis back here. And I'll show you what I rigged up here, which is working absolutely beautiful. Did this this past spring. This is one of those Harbor Freight ammo can deals, and I actually have not been in this thing pretty much whole season. But what this is is a live well air pump. It doesn't pump water, it just pushes air. And this thing has been freaking running non-stop great all season and I'm thinking I might do this with the other pump you know since it's virtually maintenance free and I don't have to buy a pump every freaking month all right I'm gonna wrap this video up thanks for watching and leave a comment below on what you think I should do you know it is coming toward the end of the season anyway so all right guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time